Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today we're gonna to be making a multi-layer stencil on a sheet of canvas. First thing is to find a picture you wanna use. I'm gonna use a picture of Michael Jordan. I'm actually gonna grab one that shows the back of his jersey. Next, you wanna to go to the program of your choice to cut out the background of the photo. I'm gonna be using Photoshop. After you're done cutting your background out, next thing you're gonna do is go to Filter, then Filter Gallery. Choose cutout and adjust your parameter levels as needed to get the effect you're looking for. In this case, we're looking for a multi-layer stencil effect. Save your project and export as needed. Next thing you're gonna do is upload your pick to any software that you use that will allow you to print and cut. I'm actually gonna be using Silhouette Studio. One thing to keep in mind uh, when you're doing this and using the print and cut, you're gonna need to flip the picture horizontally when you print it out to actually get the, the picture the right position that you're looking for. I'm gonna be using PPD heat transfer paper that's uh, made for white t-shirts for this. After you take the background out of your multi-layer stencil and print it out, you're gonna cut out the picture, getting as close to the edge as possible without cutting the actual picture. Once you get your multi-layer stencil printed and cut out, you're gonna tape it down to a sheet of canvas and use a heat press to press it onto the canvas that you're using. For this video, we're gonna be using a sheet of canvas that is one quarter inch thick and 19 by 14 inches wide. And we are also using heat tape. You wanna make sure that you're taking your time when you're putting the multi-layer stencil down on the piece of canvas. Uh, just to make sure that you're getting it as straight as possible before you press it down with the heat press. I'm gonna be using a clamshell heat press. After a couple of presses of the recommended times, you should be good to go on to the next step, which is laying down the splatter background. I'm using fire red, flat black, and gray from Angelus Direct. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you can stay in the loop on any new videos we drop. This is actually my favorite part of this art project. What you wanna do is grab a small brush. The first color we're gonna be using is fire red. Dip your brush in the color of choice and just fling the paint at the canvas, rotating the canvas after every few splats. I do the same thing with the flat black as well as the gray acrylic leather paints from Angelus Direct. After your paint splatter is dried for about 45 minutes or so, you wanna peel back your transfer paper so you can see what your multi-layer stencil art looks like and get ready to seal it. You wanna make sure you take your time with this as well. The heat press should have glued it down nice and firm, but you still wanna take your time to make sure that nothing's peeling up on you. One of the last steps, I'm gonna be using liquid kicks and an airbrush gun to seal my artwork. This stuff works perfect on canvas art. It basically makes your art scratch resistant and water repellent. I would suggest you put at least two coats of liquid kicks on your canvas art, whether you're using an airbrush gun or a paintbrush, letting each coat dry for the recommended time before applying the next coat. Using a heat gun does speed up the dry time, but you can also spray and put each coat on and let it dry by itself as well. You're gonna get good results either way. One final step is to sign and brand your completed masterpiece. I'm gonna be using a painter's ultra fine tip paint marker to do this. Thanks for watching. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe to stay in the loop on new videos we drop. Check for the link in the description. Link in the description. Sneakervinyl.com.